Uh, it would be nice if we could get some clarity in terms of what the Fed's intentions are. I think that's probably highly unlikely since there seems to be complete divergence even among the Fed governors themselves as to what to do uh, as far as uh, any uh, tapering is concerned. Uh, clearly, we got a pretty strong housing number today, so that 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 will support, of course, uh, 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 tapering sooner rather than later. On the other hand, the rest of the economic numbers continue to be quite anemic. Two steps forward, one step backwards. Yes, I guess there is a, a clear direction, but I would have to think that the U.S. economy is fragile at best, and therefore the Fed finds himself, I suspect, in a very difficult position as to what they should or should not do as far as the tapering is concerned. Perhaps they'll do nothing. We'll just have to wait and see. But do you think the rally, the rally atmosphere will continue during the fall? Well, no, I mean, I really don't know, because the one thing the stock market uh, has trouble dealing with always, always, is uncertainty. And, and the lack of uh, direction or message from the Fed has created certainly a great air of uncertainty. And then we have uh, the political, uh, uh, as Congress comes back from vacation, we have budget issues and ob funding Obamacare issues. So there's there's the, the, the real prospect of, of yet more political dysfunction from, uh, from, uh, from Washington, uh, which creates uncertainty. And, uh, and the economic numbers, uh, clearly, uh, as we just spoke about, show a positive direction, but yet are really unclear in the sense that, you know, we get a good number, we get a bad number, and the net 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 of it all is we have a GDP that grows very slowly. I mean, the good news is there's no inflation. The good news is that the housing market certainly has improved. The stock market certainly improved in a historical sense this year. The real question for us all, as far as the stock market's concerned, is where do we go from here? And I would say with all this uncertainty, it becomes a little more problematical, at least in the short term, for the direction of the stock market which is a nice way of saying perhaps the bias will be down and not up.